drooping Lakotha way. Here's one now. It's a cane grower, so you spend most of the time pruning canes to the ground. Uh, and maybe like these that are running into the hosta, I'm gonna pick a few of the worst and especially the worst ones at the bottom. Tendency is to do the top ones. I'm gonna do the bottom ones. And maybe this will flop up over it and maybe not. Sometimes you don't look that close. Oh, cutting the lower ones off. And sometimes you don't take the whole thing off, you just cut to a side branch. Maybe you would cut this part off. This one's just drooping a little too much. I could cut it like I just did to there or I could cut it to there. So I'm just gonna fluff it up a little bit so it's not quite running in to its neighbors as much. Always using reduction and removal cuts. And maybe if the top portion squishes the bottom portion too much, I will remove uh, some of it. Oh, that one goes too far. That one's too low. Uh, oh, these two stick out too much. Can I take them off without leaving a big hole? That's the question. You won't hurt it by pruning it too much, but you can always make it look worse, which is one of the problems with uh, pruning is you tend to do too much. Well, I'm not gonna do too much. But this one, oh yeah. I'm gonna see what it looks like without it. It's gonna be okay. Time to leave well enough alone. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. I can't make myself yet. Okay, I'm out.